guys, so I think we're in the second episode now of my little devlog on how to make a survival game or like an adventure game. In this episode, I think I'm going to go over just placing some buildings and stuff around, kind of just making it more fun, more things to do. And then the next episode, I'm going to start on making trophies or something like that, artifacts, whatever I'm going to do that the player can actually collect. And then maybe I'll make some sort of buying and selling of items, survival maybe. We'll decide on that, how that is going to go later. First of all, I need to make a texture for this terrain because when I loaded the game, for some reason, the texture disappeared. Uh, I think I can actually can I import uh, environment. If I import environment, hopefully. Mm, I'm looking for some sort of brown. I mean, there might be some brown textures in here. I don't want to make a texture right now, so I'm just going to see if there's one in here. So we're going to let that load. And then once I'm able to do this, I'll um, go to the asset store. I'll pick out some assets to place some buildings. And then I'll place those down. Probably make our own artifact. I'll decide on that later. Maybe I'll go into a little bit of blender right now. Okay, so terrain... Let's add a texture. Let's see if there's any new texture. Okay, good. One of these should work. Cap. No. So this. Oh, sand. There we go. So we'll use the sand texture. Uh, that's metallic. How does it look in the actual game? Ooh. Why is that so metallic-y? What is the texture? Uh oh, metallic. We need to turn that up or no, down. So the actual texture maybe is metallic. Or over here. Maybe it's because we use the normal. Uh, no. Now we can make it more metallic. Okay, so that looks a little bit better. For some reason, it's metallic-y. It shouldn't be. It's not the sun. Where is this? Oh, don't need that. Let's see. What does it say in here? Um, input texture. Okay, I'm not sure why it's so metallic-y. So I'll look into that later. I don't want to spend too much time on that. So now I'm going to go to the asset store. And I'm going to go... I'll actually drag this out. Can I do that? No, it won't let me. Oh, there we go. Okay, so... We need some sort of buildings. So... Let's go to the search bar. We're just going to type in house or something. Or we'll just type in um, building. Free only. And I want some sort of destroyed kind of buildings. I'm trying to think of what I really want. A cave? Actually, let's see if there's a cave. Let's go for that. I might actually have to do this off camera just because I don't want to spend too much time searching on it. Um, small cave kit. Is that what we want? Eh, kind of, not really. Okay, let's go for artifact. Let's go for like a trophy. Let's see if we can just place some trophies in the world right now. Or how about artifact? Epic, oh wait, you need free. No, so let's go for just trophies. We'll make it so we collect trophies, I guess. Is there no free trophies though? Okay, so I'm gonna have to make one. In which case, I will be right back with some houses. We have three buildings here, and we have rubies, emeralds, and diamonds. I think I'm gonna get a sapphire too, but right now we're just gonna use those. We don't have any textures for them, I'll have to make them. Uh, so let's just place a few buildings. So we have a little shack that 
will place somewhere in the world. Where did that show up? That is really small. So I'm going to say 100 by 100 by 100, maybe. Is that? Let's go actually check that in the game. That looks about to be what we should have it at. So we're going to have to place this somewhere. I think maybe actually on top of the hill might be a nice place to place it. Just like a tower kind of thing. So I'll kind of just... Mm. There's no really good place to put it, though, without getting sand in it. Um, yeah, that should work. And now we need to color it. So what I want to do is... Um, we're going to have to make... Oh, okay, so materials, normal, that's what it's called. And then we're just going to change this to, like, a brown. Well, actually, we want no emission. Wait. And then we're just going to make this, like, somewhere in here brown. Maybe go a little bit oranger. Um, a little bit more red. There we go, that kind of brown. And then inside, actually I don't want to place the emeralds and stuff just yet. But we need two more buildings to be placed. So I think we'll make the shack, or the, the wooden uh, cabin will go somewhere down here where you can't see it. Once it's scaled down, maybe 0.5. Um... Yeah, that's about right. Let's go check that out, though. So we're going to want to check out that, and then I'm not actually sure where I just placed that. I think it's on the other side. Let's turn the sound off just so it's not annoying. I should probably make this easier. So let's go up here. And that looks a little big, maybe? Or is that just about right? Eh. Okay, so we need to add boxes, but that's about right. And then the wooden house looks way too big, actually. That's The wooden house is definitely too big. Where's the controller? I'll just move him over here. Oh, so it's actually not too big, is it? I mean... Oh. I mean, yeah, it should be scaled down a tiny bit more. So maybe like 0.4. And then we need to add uh, boxes. I'll just put meshes on them because we don't really need. So we're going to highlight both of those, add mesh colliders. That way, actually, is the mesh collider on that going to work? That one isn't going to work, because we need to put it on that part. No, that should work. Okay. And then we need to place the tout of the tool shed. Where is that going to go? I guess it doesn't really matter. We'll put it over here in this corner, I guess. Um, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. It's going to be a really small thing. Wait, zero? Oops. Yeah, I know I'm kind of going slow with this tutorial. I'm just kind of showing everything. Next episode, I'll get into some programming, and then it'll be more interesting. So I think those are going to be three buildings. I want a cave of some sort. I want to see if I can make a cave out of... So I'll put it, like, right here. And I'll try to actually make the terrain into a cave. So let's see if I can pull that off, because I'm not the best with terrain. Oh, I might actually be able to, Oh, I can't make an overhang, though, can I? How would I pull off the overhang? I'm not 100% on that. So if I maybe... I don't think I can pull off an overhang on this. Can I, like, pull it out? No. Is there a way to... Paint height? No, I can't. So I can make like that, I guess. So I put something in there, but... Sadly, I can't make a cave, so I'm actually gonna have to do that in, like, 
blender or something if I do want that. But yeah, that looks good, so... I'm actually going to group these now in um, something, so I'll say uh, buildings. Let's neaten this up a little bit. I don't want it to be too messy. So we'll put buildings in there. I want the FPS controller to be below the terrain. Not in the terrain, below it. And then I think I want... Um, well, first off, let's make a folder called objects. And let's put all our objects in the objects folder. Just want to neaten this up a tiny bit. And then um, in objects, I'll make a buildings folder, which is actually going to mess up the materials a little bit because there's going to be like six different folders. And I'll say like... Um, Cups. I think I double clicked that so something might be opening but yeah so that's good for this tutorial I think it's not really a tutorial it's a devlog so yeah um, so next episode I think I'm going to start the pickups I'm going to make script to actually pick up the items so yeah thanks for watching